हाय एंड वेरी गुड इवनिंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू वेलकम बैक टू आर डेली करंट अफेयर्स वीडियोस आई होप आप सबका प्रिपरेशन इज अप टू द मार्क एज द एग्जाम इज अप्रोचिंग और राइट इन केस यू नीड एनी हेल्प और पर्सनलाइज गाइडेंस यू कैन चेक आउट आर आर बी आई ग्रेड बी क्रैश कोर्स येस देर इज स्टिल टाइम आई होप यू आर इन्वेस्टिंग योर टाइम इन करेक्ट स्ट्रैटेजी यूजिंग द करेक्ट स्ट्रैटेजी या यू आर डायरेक्टिंग योर हार्ड वर्क एंड करेक्ट गाइडेंस और राइट you should invest this time in solving and analyzing your mocks you should invest this time you know by going through the spotlight revision videos that are being recently conducted by neha ma'am all right the january ke spotlight videos please go and watch it many of you ask me whether spotlight is important or not and again and again i cannot emphasize more that spotlight is very very crucial for your examination why बिकॉज डेली करेंट अफेयर्स के यू नो नॉलेज गेन करना इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बट वॉट इज हार्ड इज रिवाइजिंग वॉट यू हैव ऑलरेडी रेड राइट एंड रिवाइजिंग वॉट यू हैव ऑलरेडी रेड इज अ श्योर शॉर्ट वे टू टूअर्ड सक्सेस इन दिस एग्जामिनेशन सो आई होप यू अंडरस्टैंड द ग्रेविटी ऑफ दिस इशू राइट वेदर इट इज स्पॉटलाइट वेदर इट इज योर रिविजन सेशन फॉर क्वांट डी आई एल आर और इवन वर्बल एबिलिटी please focus on revision focus on proper and thorough analysis of your mock exam all right so you know they say that you uh, practice you bleed in practice you, yeah you sweat in practice you bleed less in the actual world all right so this is a one day exam right and it is not a college exam it is a government exam right it is a job oriented competitive exam right so you have to stand out of the competitive edge so you have to strengthen yourself equip yourself with proper revision and practice this is what is the demand for today's exam all right so if you want uh, if you want uh, the pdf of our daily current affairs sessions you can join our telegram channel all right the link for our telegram channel is given in the description below theek hai so let's first start with the very first question i'll move away from the screen take a screenshot all right where is asia's largest treatment plant being developed all right asia ka sabse bada sewage treatment plant asia's largest sewage treatment plant is being developed where all right you have options delhi indore bangalore ramagundam and sikandrabad all right so the correct answer here is delhi right that is okhla you all know about noida all right and then also in okhla you have okhla bird sanctuary all right so the place is uh, uh, facing uh, okhla about okhla what we read a few years ago was that okhla mein land dumping you know uh, dumping of waste products increased to a great extent right it started affecting the residents and the localities of the city right so okhla is now developing the asia's largest sewage treatment plant right uh, uh, in collaboration with central government ka basic initiative hai but it is also under namami gange program right it also comes under namami gange program all right it is implemented by ministry of jal shakti you all know the union minister of jal shakti gajendra singh shekhawat all right so ye asia ka sabse largest uh, sewage treatment plant hoga right let's know more about it right take a screenshot first take a screenshot so that i can move on to the explanation okay so asia's largest sewage treatment plant okha sewage treatment plant okhla sorry right it is going to be operational by december 2022 और राइट और इसका कैपेसिटी कितना है द कैपेसिटी इज 564 मिलियन लीटर्स पर डे राइट 564 मिलियन लीटर्स पर डे व्हिच इज लार्जेस्ट कैपेसिटी एज फार एज द एशियन कॉन्टिनेंट इज कंसर्न दैट इज व्हाई इट इज कॉल्ड एशियास यू नो लार्जेस्ट एसटीपी और राइट इट इट विल प्ले अ की रोल इन यमुना क्लीनिंग प्रोसेस राइट यमुना यू ऑल नो द मेनेस राइट यमुना रिवर इट इज सो डर्टी All right, so basically uh, Yamuna treatment process में क्योंकि इस plant की capacity इतनी ज़्यादा है तो you know it will also focus on sludge management, right? It will also focus on sludge management. So that is a plus point, right? Because the grey water that is you know being uh, 
produced right the effluents will be released right the sludge will be treated and then the water will be reused and recycled for other uses right so that creates a kind of a circular economy okay so its cost sharing kya hoga 85% of the cost of this project is borne by the central government right 85% cost iska central government bear karega right other uh, other cost would be like uh, 15% cost will be borne under the namami gange program right namami gange program will uh, you know take load of 15% of its cost right and the remaining cost will be borne by the state government right A actually this uh, the remaining uh, 10% will be borne by the state government all right so i hope it was clear till now theek hai actually ye remaining kitna ho raha it is actually the 15% jo namami gange iska you know uh, funding karega that will be shared between uh, state government and this uh, you know central sector scheme all right so moving on to the next question i hope it was clear it is a very very important news item all right so please do take note of it moving on to the next question we have which country is collaborating with india in its cosmos malabar malabaricus project okay cosmos malabaricus project india kaun si country ke sath cosmos malabaricus project ko you know launch kar raha hai recently the president of president of india visited two countries all right one of them is turkmenistan jo ki first presidential visit hai uh, from india to that uh, state okay the first country is the option all right cosmos malabaricus project along with turkmenistan kaun si country ne the indian president shri ramnath kovind ji visited all right so the correct answer here whether it is netherland denmark germany uk or finland the correct answer here is netherland right uh, india and netherland they signed a range of mous all right uh, president uh, the president of our country visited नीदरलैंड इससे पहले भी इंडिया और नीदरलैंड के बीच में एक वर्चुअल समिट हुआ था जिसमें काफी सारे एम यूज एंड ट्रेड अग्रीमेंट साइन बिटवीन इंडिया एंड नेदरलैंड सो इट यू नो फर्दर दैट रिलेशनशिप और राइट द प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ नीदरलैंड मिस्टर मार्क राट राइट ही इज द प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ नीदरलैंड ओके सो लेट्स गो इन टू द डिटेल्स right you guys first take the screenshot okay extension of mous on bilateral collaboration in uh, you have ports maritime transport and logistics transport may inland waterways will be the thrust area why because india and netherland have been cooperating in water uh, management right so this is also important also netherland extends a lot of you know help uh, and policy support in in health sector of india all right you have kangaroo mother care program that is also partnered with netherlands so it is important right extension of mous with state archive department kerala and national archive of netherland on the execution of shared cultural heritage all right so let's now learn more about this uh, question that we just read about ये कॉस्मोस मेलेबारिकस प्रोग्राम क्या है एंड वाई इज हट इट इट हैज बीन साइंड तो डिजिटल रिकॉर्ड्स हैं जो इंडिया और नीदरलैंड के बीच में जितने भी डिजिटल आर्काइव्स हैं राइट जितने भी हिस्टोरिकल आर्काइव्स हैं दे विल बी डिजिटलाइज अंडर दिस कॉस्मोस मेलेबारिकस प्रोग्राम और राइट स्पेशली फ्रॉम द सेवेंटीन सेंचुरी हिस्टोरिकल रिकॉर्ड्स विल बी डिजिटाइज और राइट right, इसके डिजिटल आर्काइव क्रिएट किए जाएंगे और राइट वाई बिकॉज दीज डिजिटल आर्काइव दे कंटेन अ लॉर्ड ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन दे कंटेन अ लॉर्ड ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन रिगार्डिंग पॉलिटिकल एंड मिलिट्री ऑर्गेनाइजेशन डायनेस्टी इकोनॉमिक सोशल एंड ऑल दीज एस्पेक्ट ऑफ केरला और राइट एंड देन देर स्टूडेंट द नीदरलैंड और राइट सो दिस इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट राइट टेक अ स्क्रीन शॉट टेक अ स्क्रीन शॉट इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट आई कैन गारंटी यू दैट at least one question of this entire presidential visit to netherland turkmenistan it will be asked in the exam all right so please pay attention to this 
ओके सो नीदरलैंड का कैपिटल यू ऑल नो एम्स्टरडैम और राइट एक्सटेंशन ऑफ प्रोग्राम ऑन कोऑपरेशन बायोटेक्नोलॉजी में और एक और कोऑपरेशन होगा बायोटेक्नोलॉजी बेसिकली जेनेटिकली मॉडिफाइड क्रॉप्स कोऑपरेशन बिटवीन इंडिया एंड नीदरलैंड एंड दैट सेक्टर विल बी एनहांस आल्सो वेरी माइनर बट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फैक्ट राइट मैत्री मैत्री वॉज द गिव वॉज अ नेम गिवन टू येल्लो ट्यूलिप्स राइट येल्लो ट्यूलिप्स बाय द President of India, right? Yellow tulips in found in Netherland, right? Netherland के जो yellow tulips हैं, उनको President of India ने Maitri का you know नाम दिया है, and then they act as a symbol between Indian Netherlands friendship. Alright, so actually it's important. Kuykenhof, Kuykenhof is the world's largest. Kuykenhof in the city of Amsterdam is the world's largest flower garden. All right, President of India visited Kuykenhof. Right, he found yellow tulips. He really liked them. He gave them the name of Maitri. Right, symbolizing India and Netherlands strong bond and friendship. All right. इसी तरह आपको ये जानना भी important है that in the year 2021. I said it, but I'm repeating it again. There was a virtual summit between the Prime Minister of India, that is uh, Sri Narendra Modi ji, and Prime Minister of Netherlands, Mr. Mark Rut. All right, Mr. A strategic partnership of on water exists between India and Netherlands. All right, strategic partnership on water. All right. It was signed in 2021 India Netherlands virtual summit. ठीक है. So other other key areas of uh, you know collaboration or cooperation between India and Netherlands, as I told you before, is agriculture, health, urban development, and urban transport, transport and technology. All right. So I hope यहाँ तक clear था सब. दूसरी कंट्री अशकाबाद अग्रीमेंट राइट टर्कमेनिस्तान टर्कमेनिस्तान वाज द सेकंड कंट्री दैट प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ इंडिया विजिटेड वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू नोट दैट इट वाज द फर्स्ट प्रेसिडेंशियल विजिट टू टर्कमेनिस्तान राइट ये पहला प्रेसिडेंशियल विजिट था टू टर्कमेनिस्तान यू नो फ्रॉम इंडिया और राइट टर्कमेनिस्तान का कैपिटल अशकाबाद अशकाबाद अग्रीमेंट ऑन इंटरनेशनल ट्रांसपोर्ट एंड ट्रांसिट कॉरिडोर साइन हुआ था बिटवीन दीज टू कंट्रीज very 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 important agreement when it comes to india's relation with central asian nations all right central asia india ke liye important kyun hai number 1 number 1 a transit route towards european countries right europe ke through connection india ka bahut important and this is facilitated by the indian uh, central asian uh, nations all right number 2 number 2 is mineral resources central asian nations are very very rich in uranium petroleum and gas reserve these are actually strategic reserves all right kazakhstan mein ek uranium reserve baqaida ek bana hua hai wahan pe un sanctioned uranium reserve exists in kazakhstan i encourage you all to google search more about it you know learn more about it but just to give you a brief idea right why is india also investing in chabahar port in iran right there is a north south corridor right that connects iran then afghanistan then zahedan uh, uh, railway lines right zahedan railway lines uh, they directly link india to haji kak iron mines in afghanistan all right so ये सिर्फ एक ब्रॉड पर्सपेक्टिव में आपको दे रही हूँ दैट दिस रीजन इज वेरी वेरी रिच इन मिनरल रिसोर्सेज एंड इंडिया कनेक्टिविटी विद सेंट्रल एशियन नेशन इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ओके तो अशकाबाद अग्रीमेंट का यू नो की बैकड्रॉप ये है दैट सेंट्रल एशिया और इंडिया के बीच में जो ट्रेड है द ट्रेड बिटवीन सेंट्रल एशियन नेशन एंड इंडिया इज अ मीगर वन बिलियन डॉलर राइट वन बिलियन डॉलर आज के डेट में कोई बहुत ज्यादा अमाउंट नहीं है एंड दिस इज बेसिकली ड्यू टू लैक ऑफ कनेक्टिविटी राइट लैक ऑफ कनेक्टिविटी व्हाई बिकॉज ऑफ टू रीजंस वन इज अफगानिस्तान एंड वन इज पाकिस्तान सीधी सी बात राइट 
and that is why these conflict regions these come in between uh, our uh, you know connectivity with central asian nations uh, the trade is very meager right there is a lot of untapped potential of trade especially between india and afghanistan so this corridor you know is of immense immense importance right you should have a look at the map right this is the ashkabad uh, agreement in national transport and transit corridor this is how the map looks like all right this is how the map looks like mumbai se chabahar port zahedan tehran which is in iran all right ashkabad this is all the future plan or the basic idea is to connect india with european nations okay so i hope you got the broad idea you should take a screenshot of the map right you should look at it again not because you know it will be asked in the exam or something but you should know about it it is very important okay so or mous just sign kiye gaye hain please take a screenshot of these mous very very important points financial intelligence disaster management cooperation or art culture youth matters right ये सारे फैक्टर्स हैं मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ स्पोर्ट्स एंड यूथ पॉलिसी यूथ मैटर्स में भी एक कोऑपरेशन साइन किया गया है बिटवीन टर्कमेनिस्तान एंड इंडिया राइट जितने भी अंडर ग्रेजुएट पोस्ट ग्रेजुएट एंड डॉक्टोरल प्रोग्राम्स हैं उनमें भी कोऑपरेशन एनहांस किया जाएगा और राइट एंड ऑल्सो देर इज देर आर टॉक्स यू नो टू एनहांस टू एनहांस द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ ऑयल एंड गैस फील्ड राइट सो इंडिया के पास जो ऑयल रिफाइनिंग कैपेसिटी है एंड टर्कमेनिस्तान के पास जो ऑयल एंड गैस के रिजर्व हैं बोथ कैन कोलेबोरेट एंड कोऑपरेट एंड देर इज एन इमेंस पोटेंशियल टू दैट इंडिया लेंड्स इट्स स्ट्रैटेजिक एंड टेक्नोलॉजिकल नॉलेज टू टर्कमेनिस्तान राइट इंडिया का सबसे बड़ा पेट्रोलियम रिफाइनिंग यूनिट दैट इज इन जामनगर All right, it is the world's largest petroleum refining unit. So you know, you should know that petroleum refining capacity is a lot in India, and both the nations can collaborate on oil and gas reserves. Another very important, uh, another very important fact that India Central Asia Business Council was also established to promote businesses, right, to uh, do away with uh, all the you know. regular uh, deformities that comes to restrict business between india and central asian nations 2020 mein in the year 2020 india central asia business council was established okay this was important line of credit worth 1 billion dollars is also extended to central asian countries turkmenistan is the recipient hai all right india turkmenistan ke mou which sign hua hai in the field of disaster management all right very interesting <coughs> very interesting and a very important fact about turkish turkmenistan you should know that uh, turkmenistan is a nation that is not a member to most of the uh, you know important international organizations but aapke liye ye janna zaruri hai that shanghai cooperation organization sco is a very important organization when it comes to india's connectivity with central asia all right turkmenistan is not a member to this organization right Again noted down. Turkmenistan is not a member to Shanghai Cooperation Organization. All right, you should observe, find it out, and write it down in the comments below. Which which si organization is Turkmenistan excluded? You will find out most of the important international institutions across the world. Turkmenistan is not a member. Okay, moving on to the next question. We have. How much is the range of enhanced Pinaka MK1 rocket system? Pinaka, you all know, is a name uh, you know derived from uh, Lord Shiv's uh, Dhanush. Lord Shiv's Dhanush was known as Pinaka. All right. So, how much is the range? Is rocket ka range kitna? You have options: fifty, ninety, forty-five, thirty-eight, twenty-five. Answer it quickly. अगर आपको सही और accurate answer आते तभी करिएगा. ऐसे questions में guesstimate does not work. all right you have to be sure shot about your knowledge that is why 
spotlight and revi revising your current affairs is uh, you know very very important that is where it comes into play all right so the correct answer to this question is 45 kilometers is the range of enhanced pinaka mk1 rocket system all right let's uh, learn more about it right enhanced pinaka it was successfully tested by drdo in pokhran pokhran you know bahut important uh, test टेस्टिंग रीजन है राइट पोखरण न्यूक्लियर टेस्ट इंडिया का कंडक्ट यहीं पे हुआ था राइट देर इज ऑल्सो मूवी मेड यू नो आफ्टर दिस यू नो इम्पॉर्टेंट सिटी इन राजस्थान राइट पोखरण में दिस मिसाइल सिस्टम वॉज सक्सेसफुली टेस्टेड बाय डी आर डी ओ राइट इट इज नेम्ड आफ्टर लॉर्ड शिवास बो राइट and it has been developed by this organization which is based in pune armament armament research and development establishment right and this just take a screenshot of this uh, you know important slide so that we can move on to the next question right iska range is 45 iska second version aa raha hai the range of which is 60 kilometers all right it is a multi barrel rocket system it was started in the late 1980s as an alternative to grad right multi barrel rocket launcher system from russia so jab bhi koi missile uh, you know use ke bahar jaati hai when the indian armed forces stop using it it is known as decommissioned right so grad has been decommissioned and instead of that pinaka is being de under development by the drdo since 1980s very very important please take a screenshot right let's move on to the next question now ecuador has become the world's first country to grant constitutional rights to wild animals right wild animals ko constitutional rights dene ka sabse pehla important right kisne diya hai ecuador ne all right the verdict was given in the case of a woolly monkey named us woolly monkey ka naam kya tha woolly monkey basically is a new world monkey species all right it is found in uh, caribbean and the latin america especially south america ke jo rain forests hain wahan pe ye woolly monkey ki species pai jati hai right you have to tell the name of this monkey who recently died because of human negligence right and after she died Ecuador gave uh, constitutional rights to wild animals. All right, it became the world's first country to do so. Quickly answer the name. If you know it, only then you will be able to answer. If you have seen the face of the monkey or anything, Estre Estrelita. Estrelita is the name of the woolly monkey. All right, who has been granted this constitutional right? ओके तो बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट और इंटरेस्टिंग पैक लेट मी शेयर विद यू दैट न्यूजीलैंड न्यूजीलैंड बिकेम द वर्ल्ड फर्स्ट कंट्री राइट न्यूजीलैंड बिकेम वर्ल्ड फर्स्ट कंट्री टू ग्रांट यू नो लीगल राइट्स लीगल राइट्स टू इट्स फॉरेस्ट राइट उरेवेरा नेशनल पार्क राइट उरेवेरा नेशनल पार्क इन न्यूजीलैंड एंड Wangoni River, right? These were all given legal rights by New Zealand, all right? And इसको follow करते हुए, इसको follow करते हुए, in the year two thousand and seventeen, Uttarakhand High Court gave legal rights to rivers Ganga and Yamuna, right? These two rivers in Uttarakhand they enjoy proper legal rights, right? these were given to uh, these were in, given legal rights in the year 2017 by uttarakhand high court all right and after that this legal right was also extended to ecosystems in the state all right so this was very interesting news piece all right a very interesting uh, point in current affairs you should know about these you know sub facts also okay So moving on to the next slide, we have the High Court. यहाँ पे भी इक्वाडोर ने High Court ने ही wild animals को uh, you know ये legal right grant किया है. And you should know that owning wild animals is already legal in Ecuador, right? 
also it is also illegal in india you cannot privately own wild animals okay you can adopt them through uh, zoological gardens but you cannot privately own wild animal it is actually illegal right and all these crimes related to wildlife is also you know punishable in the country of ecuador right <coughs> the verdict was given in the case of a woolly monkey named estrelita who died because of human negligence <clears throat> so we have the next question how many parameters are used in the first edition of energy and climate and in index right state of energy and climate index right actually it is state of Emer energy and climate index that is uh, published for the very first time by niti ayog all right kon kon se parameters ya fir kitne parameters pe this index has been uh, you know launched so the correct answer here is six parameters right basically as an indices ka objective kya hota hai to promote competitiveness among the states right energy ki accessibility affordability the performance of discom as the parameters pe ye index launch kiya gaya hai uh the states are also categorized uh, into larger smaller states and union territories all right and it has uh, it promotes competitive federalism right it it inculcates a stress sense of competition among the states to perform better in these parameters all right so it is it is a good initiative all right and it is the very first edition right here you can uh, take a snapshot from the report itself right best performer among all the categories large state mein gujarat kerala punjab smaller state mein goa tripura manipur and uts mein you have chandigarh delhi daman and diu and dadra nagar haveli all right worst performing states sir right these let's have a look at the parameters parameters mein aapke aa jate hain uh discom performance access affordability and reliability of energy all right clean energy initiatives renewable energy mein kitna investment kaun se state ne kiya for example gujarat has very very good potential for wind energy programs all right rajasthan you know is very important for solar energy like that energy efficiency energy efficiency basically deals with you know operational uh, capacity of discoms how many power cuts are there how businesses are able to use uh, you know the energy supplied all these factors are counted environmental sustainability right the operational capacity of thermal power plants right whether uh, are they functioning in line with the environment laws right are they uh, functioning functioning in an unsustainable manner or whether they are you know observing some prudence when it comes to generation of thermal power all right and all the new initiatives new initiatives mein kya aa jayenge aapke solar rooftop plants right initiatives jo central government ke initiatives kon kon se state government acche se implement kar rahe hain for example kusum initiative right off grid energy so all these uh, infrastructure investment right so all these parameters ये पैरामीटर्स होते हैं और इसके अंदर सब पैरामीटर्स होते हैं जिनमें इन स्टेट्स को यू नो मेजर और एसेस किया जाता है ऑल राइट तो ये सारे पैरामीटर्स हैं जिसके ऊपर सेकी लॉन्च किया गया है पब्लिश किया गया है फॉर द वेरी फर्स्ट टाइम बाय नीति आयोग 27 स्टेट्स फ्रंट रनर्स अचीवर्स एंड एस्पायरेंट स्टेट्स all right on rank basis these are front runners achievers and aspirants and on size basis we have already seen the table <coughs> okay how much stake has bank of maharashtra divested in india sme asset reconstruction company for 4 crore 4 crore ka stake hai bank of maharashtra ne isarc mein ye stake apna pura pura stake डाइवेस्ट कर दिया है यू आर जस्ट बींग आस्ट द परसेंटेज ऑफ द स्टेट दैट इज बींग डाइवेस्ट तो लेट्स गो बैक रिविजन करते हैं चलिए आई सार्क पहले भी न्यूज में आ चुका है और राइट इट इज कमिंग अगेन इन न्यूज इंडिया का पहला एसेट रिकंस्ट्रक्शन कंपनी है दैट फोकसिस ऑन द एसेट रिजोल्यूशन ऑफ मीडियम एंड स्मॉल एंटरप्राइजेस 
राइट right? इससे पहले न्यूज में आया था यूनियन बैंक ऑफ इंडिया ने धन समृद्धि बैंक को अपना स्टेक यू नो सेल किया था इट्स सोल्ड इट्स स्टेक इन यू नो आई सार टू धन समृद्धि बैंक और राइट हाउ मच परसेंटेज ऑफ स्टेक डिड यूनियन बैंक ऑफ इंडिया सोल्ड टू धन समृद्धि बैंक राइट इन आई सार प्लीज राइट इट डाउन इन द कॉमेंट्स बोलो लेट मी गॉज योर रिविजन लाइट लेट मी गॉज योर अटेंशन इन दीज क्लासेस All right. The correct answer, by the way, the correct answer is four percent. Four percent stake. Bank of Maharashtra. अपना पूरा पूरा stake stake sale कर रहा है to uh, right entire stake of ISR of rupees four crore. Right. ये पहला MSME asset reconstruction है. Right. It is supported by a consortium of banks. Sidbi supports it. राइट अदर देन दैट बैंक ऑफ बड़ौदा पी एन बी एंड सिद्धी वेंचर कैपिटल लिमिटेड और राइट दीज आर ऑल द प्रमोटर्स एंड सपोर्टर्स ऑफ आई सार्क ओके सो वी हैव हियर एज पर आरबीआई लेटेस्ट ड्राफ्ट गाइडलाइंस ऑन प्रोसेसिंग एंड सेटलमेंट ऑफ स्मॉल वैल्यू एक्सपोर्ट एंड इम्पोर्ट रिलेटेड पेमेंट द पेमेंट फेसिलिटी शैल बी अवेलेबल फॉर ऑनलाइन इम्पोर्ट ऑफ गुड्स एंड डिजिटल प्रोडक्ट्स not exceeding how many us dollars and export not exceeding this much respectively dekhiye agar aap logo ne ye news cover kara hai if you remember these uh, small things right if you have read it in your current affair notes if you have revised it two three times before the examination then these questions will not and should not scare you right these are some very important questions that keep on repeating in the exams that keep on repeating the current affairs all right as in news jo rbi initiatives leta hai jo ministry of finance initiatives leti hai these uh, become circular you know sometime or the other they keep repeating themselves you will keep coming across this news item time and again to teen char bar to aap logo ne waise hi padh liya hoga all right so never uh, you know get intimidated by these uh, lengthy questions right take it as a challenge aap calm mind se is question ko read karo there is time or taking but you have to keep your mind calm all right and then you have to write down the options right yahan pe the correct option is us 3000 dollars and us 15000 dollars right us dollar 15000 for the export us dollar 3000 for the import all right let's have a look what it basically is processing and settlement of small value exports jo hain ye online export import uh, facilitators provide karte hain all right to modify the existing norms to simplify and rationalize the process for settlement of payment of export and import through e-commerce so basically स्मॉल वैल्यू ऑफ एक्सपोर्ट एंड इम्पोर्ट को फैसिलिटेट करने के लिए फैसिलिटी लॉन्च करा गया है राइट right? पहले इसको ये पोर्टल संभालता था बट नाउ इट हैज बीन ट्रांसफर टू दिस और राइट तो बेसिकली फर्स्ट बैंक्स यूज टू यू नो क्लियर द एक्सपोर्ट एंड इम्पोर्ट बिल्स थ्रू ओ पी जी एस पी राइट इम्पोर्ट्स ऑफ गुड्स एंड सर्विसेस एंड एक्सपोर्ट्स ऑफ गुड्स एंड सॉफ्टवेयर प्रोडक्ट्स और राइट right, इसमें एक्सपोर्ट्स में सर्विसेज नहीं इंक्लूड होंगी पहले जब ये ओ पी जी एस पी यू नो इट यूज टू मॉनिटर इट राइट इस प्रोसेस को रैशनलाइज किया है इम्पोर्ट्स के इम्पोर्ट्स ऑफ गुड्स एंड डिजिटल प्रोडक्ट्स वैल्यू नॉट एक्सीडिंग यूएस थ्री थाउजेंड डॉलर्स तो इम्पोर्ट ट्रांजेक्शन इस ऑनलाइन पेमेंट फेसिलिटी के थ्रू क्लियर कराए जाएंगे और राइट एंड एक्सपोर्ट्स Exports have been limited to US fifteen thousand dollars, right? They have a standing contract with online payment gateway service providers. इससे पहले banks used to approach this portal. Now banks will have to approach. Now banks will have to approach this. Okay, moving on to the next question, we have. As per the latest official data, India's gold import have been increased by what percent? to us 46.14 billion dollars during this fiscal on account of higher demand after china after china india is the second largest importer of gold right indigenous production india ka gold mein abhi bhi utna nahi hai right gold import policy ke through rbi monitors the import of gold in the country 
और राइट सो दैट क्योंकि बिकॉज इम्पोर्ट ऑफ गोल्ड ऑल्सो अदर देन क्रूड ऑयल इम्पोर्ट ऑफ गोल्ड ऑल्सो फॉर्म्स अ सिग्निफिकेंट हैज अ सिग्निफिकेंट शेयर इन आ कंट्रीज करेंट अकाउंट डेफिसिट और राइट तो एज पर द लेटेस्ट आर बी आई डेटा गोल्ड इम्पोर्ट कितने परसेंट इंक्रीज हुए द करेक्ट आंसर इज थर्टी थ्री पॉइंट थ्री फोर परसेंट और राइट थर्टी थ्री पॉइंट थ्री फोर परसेंट एट फोर्टी सिक्स पॉइंट वन फोर बिलियन डॉलर राइट ट्रेड डेफिसिट बढ़ जाता है टू वन नाइनटी टू पॉइंट फोर्टी वन बिलियन डॉलर राइट हु आर द लार्जेस्ट हु आर द लार्जेस्ट एक्सपोर्टर्स ऑफ गोल्ड टू इंडिया यू वी हैव स्विट्जरलैंड राइट then saudi arabia and we also have china these are the largest exporters of gold to india all right and also india imports some gold from dubai as well all right so this is important please take a screenshot of the entire slide all right ye sari important news hai uh moving on to the next question we have world's second biggest importer after china we have already covered this gems and jewelry 50% increase hua hai export of gems and jewelry you all we all know the diamond city of india is surat all right uh, surat basically cuts and polishes diamonds rough diamonds uh, aate hain hamari country mein uh, the diamond polishers the diamond uh, you know big diamond uh, giants they cut polish these diamonds and then they export it so basically ek re export business india ka diamonds mein bahut jata hai and in general gems and jewelry mein india ka export share acha khasa hai all right so basically it covers up for that okay moving on to the next question we have un human rights council may ann fry has been appointed all right on as an expert on climate change and human rights right climate change and human rights mein basically kya connection hai sabse pehla connection jitne bhi small island nations hai specifically in pacific nation for example you have marshall islands or the island state to which mr ann fry belongs और राइट क्लाइमेट चेंज की वजह से सी लेवल राइज हो जाएगा बिकॉज ऑफ द राइज इन सी लेवल मेनी पीपल रिजाइडिंग इन दीज आईलैंड नेशन विल गेट डिस्प्लेस्ड राइट सो की ह्यूमन राइट कंसर्न क्लाइमेट चेंज का यही है एंड एम फ्राई हैज बीन अपॉइंटेड एज एन एक्सपर्ट नाउ ही बिलोंग्स टू विच कंट्री द कंट्री ही बिलोंग्स इज टू इज तुवालू राइट तुवालू इज अ वेरी स्मॉल आईलैंड नेशन इन द साउथ पेसिफिक ओशन All right, Mr. Ian Fry holds dual membership of both Australia and Tuvalu Island. All right, so Tuvalu Island represents uh, likewise. Iske jaise, iski tarah jitte bhi small island nations hain, you know, who are under direct threat of climate change and rise in sea level. All right, that is why he has been appointed, Mr. Ian Fry. Remember the name. All right, he holds dual uh, citizenship of India and Tuvalu. All right. Tuvalu is a small nation, British Commonwealth nation. So he belongs to that. All right. Who is the president of UNHRC? UNHRC ke president, Mr. Federico Villegas. Right, Mr. Federico. Federico Villegas is the president of UN uh, Human Rights Council. All right. so of course like most of the uh, you know organizations related to the united nations unhrc ke bhi headquarters are in geneva switzerland all right moving on to the very last but the most important question for the day we have prime minister narendra modi will be the first awardee of the inaugural lata dinanath mangeshkar award lata dinanath dinanath mangeshkar was uh, the uh late father of uh, late singer lata mangeshkar all right both uh, you know spent the rest of both uh, spent their lives in social uh, you know causes right especially lata mangeshkar right 1983 ke world cup mein bhi she raised a fund right 
even during the covid 19 pandemic she donated a huge uh, amount from her savings an amount of rupees 7 lakh to you know cmrf right cmdrf all right so she used to do a lot of social work right so in her honor in her honor this award has been inaugurated prime minister narendra modi ji will be the first recipient of this award all right on which is the 80th death anniversary of master dinanath uh, mangeshkar who is the father of late lata mangeshkar all right let's have a look at the answer the correct answer is april 24th april 24th will be the death anniversary of the father of late lata mangeshkar ji all right so this was it for today i hope the session was useful in case you have any doubts do write it down in the comments below take care see you in the next class bye bye